All right, guys, welcome back for Tuesday story time. Today, our theme is ocean. So we're gonna read a book about the ocean and then we're gonna bring out one of our favorites and then we're gonna do something fun. Are you ready? Let's go. So our first book up today is another peek through picture book and it's called Ocean. Gleaming and sparkling, the coral sea is a place of magical mystery. As the ocean's tides ebb and flow, a secret world lies deep below. A small fish swims among the weeds. They provide the shelter that it needs. As sponges glow and grasses sway, the fish continues on its way. Two tiny seahorses, tail to tail, float along on a bubbly trail. They may be small and very slow, but calmly, gracefully, on they go. A baby dolphin swims with his mother. They leap and dive around each other. Communicating with chirps and clicks, they perform their acrobatic tricks. Lionfish swims through the sea with pride. Its stripy colors help it hide. But its secret weapon when under attack the poisonous spines along its back. Suddenly, there's a ripple of fear as the fish sense danger very near. A shadow lurking in the dark, all fish fear the great white shark. But just as their chances begin to sink, the puffer fish bloats, the squid squirts ink. Small fish dart in every direction. Some use camouflage as their protection. As the ocean sparkles in the sun, the tropical fish swim on as one. Together, they can find a way to keep the predators at bay. Rippling, gleaming through the night, the ocean sparkles with magical light. Jellyfish, eels, and manta rays dance and bob in bright displays. The humpback whale is the ocean king. The fish pause briefly to hear him sing. The ocean fills with an eerie sound as the whale's song echoes for miles around. The little fish swim by a manatee, a gentle creature in the sea. In an ocean meadow, sea grasses sway as the manatee's babies swim and play. Healthy coral can provide a place for ocean life to hide. Let's keep our oceans clean and clear and protect our friends whose homes are here. The end. So that's a reminder for us to try to keep our oceans clean. This was such a good book. I loved it. All right, so next up we got, there was an old lady who swallowed a dragon. Does this old lady seem familiar? Why is she always up to something? Let's see what happens today. There was an old lady who swallowed a trout that splashed and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a salmon that slippity flippity flopped as it swam in. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed an otter. 
With a mug of clear water, she swallowed the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a seal. She let out a squeal when she swallowed the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a porpoise. She did it on purpose. She swallowed the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a walrus. With a great deal of fuss, she swallowed the walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed a whale. From its tip to its tail, she swallowed that whale. She swallowed the whale to catch the walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. There was an old lady who swallowed the ocean. What a commotion. She swallowed the ocean. She swallowed the ocean to hold the whale. Now had plenty of room for his tail. She swallowed the whale to catch the walrus. She swallowed the walrus to catch the porpoise. She swallowed the porpoise to catch the seal. She swallowed the seal to catch the otter. She swallowed the otter to catch the salmon. She swallowed the salmon to catch the trout that splished and splashed and thrashed about. It wanted out. The old lady started to wriggle and jiggle. The swirling inside made her hiccup and giggle. It made her laugh, it made her shout. And when the old lady opened her mouth, she let out the ocean, the whale, and the walrus. She let out the porpoise she swallowed on purpose. The seal, the otter, the salmon, and the trout splished and splashed and thrashed about. And they all swam out. The end. This one was so cool. The old lady is always up to something crazy. We love her so much. Right, guys so our activity for today we are going to make popsicle stick fish does that sound cool so first things first you need some popsicles sticks popsicle sticks glue stick markers are always fun a pair of scissors and some construction paper First thing that you want to do is take three popsicle sticks and put them in a shape of a triangle and then glue them down. Once you have your triangle, you can put the triangle down and trace the outside so you can get the body of the fish.
There we go. And our next step is going to be to cut this out. The next thing we need to do is to trim the edges of the triangle so that it fits your popsicle stick craft. Now we can glue it down. Now it's time to make this fish pretty. So what we can do is take our other sheet of construction paper and draw a mouth and a tail. How about that? All right, so now we can add our mouth and tail to our fish. Miss Raven also has a googly eye. If you don't have any of these, you can just draw an eye. And let's get this on here. Wanna make sure you tape your tail to the back. doing the mouth so here we are we've got a little fish crab how cute is that i hope you guys have enjoyed story time today i had a blast be sure to tune in for the rest of our week for our virtual programming have a nice day